we go any further? Do you love me? Will you love me forever? Do you need me? Will you never leave me? Will you make me so happy for the rest of my life? Will you take me away? Will you make me away? Do you love me? Will you love me forever? Do you need me? You're crazy. I like you. You're crazy. He got really poor and he didn't have money. The only thing, like, he was depressed and he didn't have anything. So the only thing he knew was that he made good fried chicken. So he started he selling fried chicken. So he started making fried chicken. He started selling it. The bit where we say we all have dreams. Well, you just said it. Yeah. So we all have dreams and visions, which, you know, we have of ourselves from a very young age. Yet for so many of us, these dreams are drowned in the frustrations of daily life. Today, our job is going to be Find to give you... Find out the reason. We're going to ask the a reasons, few people. And then also give you some solutions of how to make your dreams a reality. So we've been talking about why people don't achieve their dreams, you know, or the visions they have for themselves. And, you know, it's not just good enough just to pick out the problem. You have to come up with a solution. What are the problems? So the problem is, you know, one of the reasons, you know, we found is fear. So Sarah, <laughs> why do you think people don't achieve their dreams? What reasons do you think? Because, uh, to be honest, I think that people are afraid to fail. I don't think that you can ever fail like your dreams, but it may take like longer time from person to person Absolutely. but if you try like hard enough there's nothing called like not achieving your dreams if uh -huh. you don't decide to not achieve your dreams so i think it's just an excuse fear fear really no one really wants to take the chance to achieve those dreams they had for themselves when they were way younger as well give you some of the solutions of how to make sure your dreams become a reality rather than just rather than them just remain in dreams hello zach <laughs> <laughs> because you're gonna say this when you edit it <laughs> You need to raise your standards. You are better than what you think you are. Mm -hmm. If you're overweight and you want to say to yourself that, okay, I'm, I'm gonna slim down and I'm never gonna have this belly hanging over my trousers ever again, you need to believe it for it to be more than a temporary change. Yeah, I think, think the same, but I also think that some people are too lazy. Oh, okay. Too, like, because if they have really high That's goals. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah. Some, some people might be too lazy to, like, try and, uh -huh, like, to... Uh -huh. Like work for their dreams. Uh -huh. You have to pretty much just tell yourself, set that standard for yourself that I'm never going to be the pot bellied guy. You have to set that standard for yourself before you can make any lasting change. I'm going Quick, back. we're going to be late. We're going to be late. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Sorry. Hello. <laughs> How are you? So, the second point. You have to change your limiting beliefs. So, basically, if you're a runner and you can run five miles today, tomorrow you can run six miles. The day after that, you can run seven. The day after that, eight. You always have to keep pushing. And already, if you believe uh -huh. that there are limits to what you can achieve, you're not gonna achieve what you're capable of because there are no limits. To be honest, I think like, and also it's really sad that people don't follow their dreams because I don't know, maybe it's someone have told them, oh, you can never achieve this. But there is nothing called never because if you try hard enough, I think everyone can achieve their dreams. You like, can achieve know. anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter what it is that makes you harder for you than for everyone else because everyone is different. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard, 
bello figo qui sei singer italian singer no? è una vita che ti seguo forza pari facendo is there a match? there's a match on tonight is there? is there a match? ciao bye guys forza pari such great guys man I swear man that was unbelievable man now the final step step 3 you need to be able to Change your strategy. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different, different result. result. Analyze yourself. Be ready to look inwards. That's be the honest, only way you can go up. You have to look you inwards. Know? A lot of you look outwards and like to blame things. Other it's because than I'm yourself. black. It's because Sometimes. I'm. It's because I'm short. It's because I'm. You know. It's because I'm not beautiful. It's because I'm not smart. All the time. Learn, teach yourself to look inside of you. To look internally before looking externally. And that's the only way you can achieve your dreams. What a move by the former All SEC defense. Oh, 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 That's an impact, baby! Right. Oh, yes, people yeah, are rushing. Hello, guys. I think the battery lasts three hours. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell are you doing, Zach? <laughs> Guess where we are. Why we're are you making the, it sound exciting? We're on the bridge of love, guys! Give me that, it's not what it looks like. Your black ass is oh, my leg! Mommy! <laughs> fucking payback! Okay, let's let's go play oh, bowling. Oh. <laughs> hey, did it get you that guys, you guys are I got some of it! Oh, <laughs> when I, 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 know, I, didn't, I didn't get that bit! <laughs> that would have been the prize shot! It would have been like, I swear! Who's gonna win? Okay, clearly not him. What are your chances? <laughs> big, Good? They're big. What 10 out of 10. <laughs> Where's Princess? What are your chances of winning? No, 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 no. She, you, I mean, you and I, round. you and I are in the same club. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Show them what you can do. Excellent, because what yeah. you've done is you've taken the situation that's come your way, yeah. you've acknowledged that there are negative parts, but you're focusing on the positive. Positive, like you know? even if it's uh, only one positive. Even if it's a yeah. very small percentage, you focus on the positive. Yeah. You Absolutely. acknowledge the negative. I'm not saying don't yeah. acknowledge it, you acknowledge it. You know it's there, yeah. okay? And that can help you improve for the future. But you, you take the positive out of the situation. You yeah, I agree with it. You know? So that's the emotional bit. Everything we do depends on how we feel. But the moment you master how to control how you feel and change how you feel, in a second, that's that's the motion of our streets. I keep it all in my head. Right, Pamela, why do you think? Some people don't achieve their dreams. Maybe it's a lack of motivation. Uh -huh. They don't want it enough. Because if you really want something, then there's nothing stopping you from achieving it. They're not confident enough in that case. And maybe they don't know how to start because the first step is always the hardest one as well. Yeah. Even if it sounds a bit cliche. Basically, I think that's it. Parents, they play a very big role in your dreams. Because okay. if you have your dream and your parents don't agree with your dreams, <laughs> I watch this every day, they're gonna try to push you towards what they want for you, and then that can make you give up on your dreams. Should it make you give up on your dreams? No, it shouldn't. Because you're supposed to create your own person. 
time, last time, last time. No, no, no. <laughs> and I think the mistake, so there was a quote that I saw somewhere. It said that the mistake we make as human beings is that we think we have time. Unless we don't. But things we don't. We really don't because in the moment of an eye, you you know, it could be over. Yeah. And it's, it's more about what have you done in that moment of your life because we keep on thinking oh yeah I'll do it when I get to 30 you know I'm just going to have my fun five now more years. yeah five more years, years, more years seven more years but the thing is why not do it now the case for my friend he wanted to um, study law and become a lawyer and now he's studying medicine my friend is not going to be as happy as he could be if he was a lawyer he won't have his full mind on it he will just like he just becomes a doctor and then that's it he's not going to enjoy himself how do you think that now way. that he's in this situation what do you think he should be doing like, I don't know what you guys think, but I feel like the older we get, the faster we get. Ew, yeah, I, I completely like, agree with Like you. one year when I was seven years old, it and felt, felt, long. It felt like, so long. like yeah. it felt like I could do so much in one year, but now I've been in this university. You know why? It's because we're busy. Yeah. It's, like it's because we're so busy. We have so many things to focus on and to work on, and we have so many short term objectives that eventually, when we complete a, a chunk of them, and we look back for a like, oh, It's been like three months. It's, it's three months exactly, yeah, but we're still know? thinking the opposite because when you were younger and you had to do something, you did it on time. Now when you're now older and you know like, yeah. if, he, if he's absolutely not happy with it, he should definitely do something else. Like if you're not happy with it at all. Is that as human beings, we do more to avoid pain yeah. than to gain pleasure. To gain yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, so, yeah. in other words, we always choose the safe option. Yeah. Yeah. To protect what exactly. We have, what we instead of so risking someone, someone, something and like losing it. The natural reaction as humans is that we would rather keep this one thousand pounds and keep hold of it, rather than invest it with the chance that it could go missing. But there's also a chance it could make a hundred thousand. And that's the reason why sometimes we procrastinate because we feel that there's you know there's more there's pleasure from revising two weeks early and being ready way ahead. But when you leave it till the night before, then you're preventing pain. Now you're preventing pain because you know, oh my god, if I literally don't do anything, See the different I'm gonna up. fail, it's gonna be absolutely horrible. So, I have so to work. now I have to work. Yeah. yeah. So so and the thing is if you if we as humans can switch that mentality where you know we do more to gain pleasure mm. rather than just doing more to avoid pain, yeah. boy oh boy. We would all be Really happy. Uh, the thing I found that led to happiness, or to my happiness at least, is that I should take whatever life gives me. Doesn't mean I don't fight for what I want. No. But sometimes you fight and you don't get what you want. Yeah. So you have to accept what life gives you and you have to make the most of that situation. When you accept it, then you can start making inroads into making the situation better. And I think that's what he should be doing now. Hopefully that is what he will do. I think this is something, we, 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 we just learned this concept. And yeah, no, 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 I never thought about it. So there's both positive and negative ways of seeing this.